Today, 18 people are condemned to die. It could be your neighbor, your child, your wife, or even you. No jury will hear their case. No lawyer will plead their innocence. No judge will pass sentence. But 18 persons are doomed to die in the next 24 hours, to die in smoke and flames. Needlessly and without warning, they will die. Every single hour of the day and night, 63 homes are destroyed or damaged by fire in the United States. That's right, 63 homes every hour. Even more tragic is the fact that in these fires, every year, 6,500 people, 2,100 of them children, die. This man is a careful person. His tools are clean and sharp. He's able to fix a broken toy, furniture, or repair a part of his automobile. He's proud of his ability to make minor repairs and to recognize wear and tear on his equipment. But sometimes the obvious escapes him. That cigarette can be dangerous. A burning cigarette, a can of flammable liquid, create this disaster. It's another call for the fire department. Your fire department, is it another tragedy? or a minor blade. Could this happen to you? It happened to him. It seems impossible that a cigarette and cleaning fluid could cause this fire, but it did. A home destroyed, one man dead. Flammable liquids must never be left in open containers, nor stored in glass bottles, only in approved safety cans. This is a free lesson for all of us to learn. This man paid with his life. Gee, finals tomorrow. Never pass if I don't cram. Will he take those finals? Little does he know he's being tried and convicted, condemned by his own carelessness. A familiar scene repeated every day. She's being tried and convicted and doesn't even know it. She's condemned by her own carelessness. And now let's get down to the facts. What you are seeing is happening 475 times each day. 173,000 fires a year are caused by careless smoking and matches. He's being tried and convicted by his own carelessness. Condemned. This man lived in an apartment house. He's endangered not only his own life, but the lives of all the other residents of the building, and the lives of the firemen who must put out the fire and rescue those who are trapped. This is just one of the 475 fires that occur every day from carelessness. This elderly woman, because of someone else's carelessness, has now gone through the terrifying experience of facing smoke and flames. She is now safe in the arms of this fireman, but she may never recover from the mental horror of this night. Every fire represents a failure, a failure to correct a hazard, in some cases, a human hazard. Fire can happen to you. Yes, you. Here's another free lesson for you. But for this man, there will be no second chance. He paid with his life for his carelessness. If you must smoke, don't smoke in bed. This seems like an ideal time to go to the store. 
The baby is safely asleep and you'll be back in a few minutes, long before he's liable to waken. Sometimes it's almost impossible to take the baby with you when you have an armload of groceries. Besides, he's asleep and nothing can possibly happen in a few minutes. Do you ever leave your child alone, even for a few minutes? What's that? Fire engines? Oh, my God! It's her house. Her baby is alone. This is not a major fire, but a tragedy of carelessness. Do you know that smoke is a combination of poison gases? Sometimes one breath can snuff out a life. This infant never had a chance. The child was not killed by the flames, but by the deadly smoke. More than 700 children left unattended die in fires each year. Yes, 700 children. Ever since man invented the match, parents have warned children that they must not play with them. Matches have a strange fascination and children are curious and will play with anything they find. Forbidden things, it seems, are more interesting. At home, they mustn't touch matches, but here's a big supply and no mother and father to say stop. Matches, a forbidden prize to be examined, to watch as the tiny flame bursts into light. But flames seldom stay tiny very long. Children don't know this. And while the youngsters run in panic, the fire gains time to spread to porch and stairs. The flame from that single match is no longer tiny. The whole rear of the house is burning. Before the fire is discovered and the firemen speed to the scene, the delay has been costly, and they are now faced with a possible conflagration that will require all of their efforts and know-how. This fire destroyed a full city block, costing hundreds of thousands of dollars, leaving hundreds homeless, and destroying many personal family possessions. It has never been proved, but there is reason to believe that this massive fire was started by a child or children playing with matches. A staggering 70,000 fires are started each year by children playing with matches. That's right, 70,000 fires each year. This could be you, your home, your furniture, all destroyed by one tiny, insignificant match. Tiny, but never insignificant in the hands of a child. It is your responsibility to teach your children about the danger of matches and to keep matches out of their reach. Your fireman is trained to put out fires, also to prevent them. He's trained to spot fire hazards and to correct them. When the fireman visits you and your neighbors to help prevent fires, this is called in-service inspection. Isn't it comforting to see the fire engine at your front door and to realize that it was not summoned by the call of fire? His interest is your safety and future. Another familiar scene, mother ironing, daughter making cookies, an electric toaster or some other appliance all connected to one electric outlet. An overloaded circuit is an invitation to a possible fire, another needless fire. People, people like you, take their home heating system for granted unless something goes wrong. Do you know how to shut off your burner? Every system should have a remote control switch so that it can be turned off in an emergency. A faulty damper can cause a smoke-filled house. 200 fires a day are caused by heating equipment. 200 a day. Rubbish stored beneath a stairway can cut off your only means of escape in the event of fire. The home workbench doesn't always get the attention it deserves. Keep flammable liquids in proper containers. 
A fuse box is a safeguard, not a hazard. Do you know and use the correct size fuses? There are 450 electrical fires every day. Have you a power mower or snow blower? Gas tanks should never be filled indoors. Gasoline should never be kept in glass jars. Fireplaces are comfortable, charming, and fun, but they must be treated with respect. A screen in front of a fireplace is a must. Attics are traditional catch-alls, a place to store things you're always planning to use again, but probably never will. Don't let your attic become a fire hazard. Clean it out. Improper wiring hanging between the rafters can be just as dangerous as a burning cigarette. A portable heater may feel comfortable in a bedroom. But be sure the heater stands in the clear, away from walls, bedding, and curtains. Another common mistake, the extension cord under the rug. Don't take a chance on short circuits. Put your fire department number on your telephone. When finished, your fireman will check over the list with you. Now, right now is the time to correct these hazards. Tomorrow may be too late. Have you ever sat down with your family and discussed fire in your home? Or worked out a plan that could save their lives and yours if fire broke out? A large percentage of house fires occur between the hours of midnight and 6 a.m. The average person, awakened from a sound sleep, tends to be a bit befuddled. If the awakening is caused by fire, even the calmest person could tend to panic. An escape plan could counteract this panic. Make it a game for the children. If possible, there should be at least two means of escape from every room. Be sure that everyone knows about both exits. Conduct regular fire drills in your home so that in an emergency, the exit paths will be familiar. A good, solid door will hold back flames for minutes, minutes in which to flee. If the door is hot to the touch, or if smoke seeps in around the edges, don't open it. That's right, don't open it. Use your door as a safety device. If you cannot get out the door, then use the window. It is most important to impress upon everyone in the family that once they are safely outside, to gather in one appointed place and for all to stay there until released. All too often, a parent will find a child missing and not knowing that the child has escaped safely will return to the house to search and die in the flames. Fire is a comfortable servant. Discovery that fire would warm his body and cook his food, keep him dry and protect him from darkness, man alone has learned to use and control fire. Man uses fire not only for warmth and comfort, but he has harnessed its power to subdue nature, to change the very face of the earth. He uses fire to soften some things, to harden others, to destroy rubbish, to control disease. Almost everything we use has come in contact with fire or the results of fire heat. He has conquered fire, made it his servant. But man must remember that to keep fire a valued servant, it must be properly cared for, guarded, and guarded against. A careless moment can turn this valuable servant into a treacherous enemy. Fire has a terrific appetite, and it cares not what it destroys. Man must control fire or be conquered by it. Don't give fire a place to start. Don't be found guilty without a trial. Don't be condemned.